Okay, so we are looking at uh, pharmacology, peripheral, yeah, skeletal muscle relaxants. Uh, basically, the topic today for you is uh, succinylcholine. Where is it? Here. Succinylcholine, this is the most important question. You can see it has been asked eight times. So, let us look at this one. So, you should note that we are talking about muscle relaxants. Okay, which type of muscle? Skeletal muscle. Right, so we are looking at skeletal muscle relaxants. Okay, and in this we are looking at the peripheral ones. Let me just give you a brief introduction. Hold on. See here, you can see the classification. So we are talking about skeletal muscle relaxants, in that you have the centrally acting and the peripherally acting. At this moment, where are we? We are here. Succinylcholine is the word given to you in the exam. You have to explain everything about it. What will you do? First of all, tell them that succinylcholine is a skeletal muscle relaxant. Secondly, it's a peripherally acting skeletal muscle relaxant. Thirdly, you will say it acts on the neuromuscular junction. It do does not act on the muscle. It acts on the neuromuscular junction. In that, it is a depolarizing one. It depolarizes the neuromuscular junction. Fine. You should know other things. There are non depolarizing ones, and <clears throat> you have even directly acting uh, on the muscle. As of now, our focus is only this thing succinylcholine. Okay. Now, coming back to succinylcholine slide. So, basically, it is a skeletal muscle relaxant, it is a peripherally acting skeletal muscle relaxant. It acts on the neuromuscular junction and it is depolarizing, correct? Now, it has another name. The other name is Suksa methonium. Suksa methonium, okay? There is one more, Deca methonium. But we are, uh, examination usually they ask you depolarizing neuromuscular blockers or succinylcholine. In that case, when they ask you depolarizing neuromuscular blockers, remember to write two examples succinylcholine and decamethonium, or you can say succamethonium and decamethonium. But if they ask you only su succinylcholine, you can, you can just say <coughs> yes, succinylcholine is also called as succamethonium and it is depolarizing neuromuscular blocker, it's peripherally acting skeletal muscle relaxant. So much you have understood. Excellent. Now we are talking about the chemistry of it okay now in chemistry basically you should know that it is a quaternary ammonium compound if you want i will show you how it looks so here is the succinylcholine uh, chemistry so you can see it is a ammonium compound right quaternary ammonium compound now decamethonium also is given here this one is a heavy uh, molecule d uh, tubocuridin anyway succinylcholine you should note that it is slender flexible molecules, right? Slender and flexible molecules of depolarizing blockers like decamethonium and succinylcholine. You can just know this, not required to draw in the exam. So, guys, we were covering the chemistry. So, basically, in the chemistry, we saw what that it is a quaternary ammonium compound, and it is how is the structure? It's like two molecules of acetylcholine linked together. Is this true? Did you see that? So, apparently the structure is like two acetylcholine molecules linked together. One acetylcholine molecule uh, pasted here for you. Now, let us move on to mechanism of action.